What's going on guys? Crypto Poppy here. Let's get it. Welcome. Welcome back everybody. All right. It's only been a couple hours since I did an episode, but this episode is all about NBA Top Shots because that's where Crypto Poppy has been uh, spending a lot of time over the last six couple days. So while crypto is all, always interesting, uh, man, this is just this is just the new thing in town, and um, I'm a little bit obsessed with uh, looking at this market. So I'm going to reveal my account because I'm going to show you that I am all in on this. Well, I mean, first of all, I, I really have to get used to the fact that this seems to be uh, normal. Um, every YouTuber, every NBA basketball player, every single person I've seen talking about NBA top shots shows you their account and is pretty transparent with that. I'm, I'm not accustomed to that. I think that's a little bit strange. I mean, you know, you don't go showing around everybody your crypto wallets. Um, but in the NBA top shot, I think I, I, um, community, I, 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 it makes a lot more sense because you're not really, uh, looking to brag about, um, you know, the value of the moments that you have, but rather, you know, why you're buying certain moments and how you're making certain decisions. So, um, if we go to, if you're not familiar with evaluate.market, it's a great tool for, uh, NBA top shots. So if we go to evaluate.market. You, I mean, I'm sure some of you that watched my previous episodes have already done this. Again, everything is on the blockchain and everything is transparent. We can look up Crypto Poppy Seven. That's my account name, and I I'm in the one one percent. Apparently, I am in the top one percent. Uh, apparently, this is a pretty crazy account because I don't I haven't seen many people with an account this size. To be honest, that's talking publicly uh so that's interesting um so i guess i'm putting my money where my mouth is and everybody else is uh just pretending to okay so you know the the moment that i have that's worth the most is is steph curry mgle card series two uh so i got in about a week ago and and the market has basically just been tanking since i got in and i've kind of learned in my years in trading markets is that you know the time to get in is not when everything is pumping, but rather when everybody's crying and complaining and the market's tanking. So I've been averaging in over the last week, uh, diversified some of my crypto gains because I firmly believe that we are at the beginning of something huge. If you want me to show you like how early NBA Top Shots is to me, is if we go look at the Evaluate All Market dashboard, you can see that first of all total sales today were 6.7 mil which is up which is a good thing um but the the, the entire total market cap of nba top shot is 1.5 billion dollars now that might sound like a lot to you um crypto's at one and a half trillion dollars and there was a time where crypto was at 1.5 billion dollars there was a uh, you know and it didn't feel like it was that long ago either so if you're wondering why I've decided to diversify some of my investments is one NBA top shots is crypto based on crypto. Uh, and so I believe in that. Uh, but two is I believe it's the gateway drug to crypto. So many of you that don't want to deal with, uh, you know, wallet addresses and complicated, uh, ways of investing. Here's a way that you can buy a crypto by literally just logging on, putting in your credit card and you buy it. It doesn't get easier than that. Um, and so I think that the, the fact that it's so easy for people to start transacting in this and that people start to make money very quickly and they see, you know, the market go up, I think it's just going to continue to drive more users, more money into the platform. Uh, the last number I think I just heard was 500,000 uh, uh, accounts are now created. Again, guys, we're going to get into the millions in no time. This is a no-brainer. The only reason we're probably not at millions is because you can't get an account right now. It's very difficult uh, because they're closed for new accounts. So... Uh, you just have to imagine that the more accounts that get created, the, the more that the new user base comes in, the more that they want to spend money and buy their moments, um, then, you know, it's a supply and demand game, right? So I think what's happening um, right now in, in the market is we're just super, super early. So that's why I, um, you know, made a pretty, pretty good investment in this. And we'll see where this takes us. Follow me because um, this is the road to a million dollars is the way I see it. So we're going to follow this account. I've done nothing but lose money in this market in a week. 
and I feel great about it. I feel great, guys. I've seen I've seen my Bitcoin, my my crypto portfolio go down ninety percent. Like this, like this stuff doesn't worry me. Like buying something and then immediately dipping, really not concerned. This Luka Doncic that I paid seventy eight hundred for, which is part of the Cool Cats collection, is my biggest loss so far. It ain't a loss until I sell them, and I'm not. Uh, so twenty six hundred dollars. Uh, right now down twenty six. Don't matter. Uh, that's a that's a challenge that's still ongoing, and um, I think it's gonna eventually go up. Now I, I'm not keeping it forever, uh, but I'm seeing if I can if I can make a little money there before I do sell. Um, anyway, so my strategy so far for filling up my account. Again, I'm I'm a week into this, so my strategy could be wrong. Uh, but I've been studying this market a lot, and I've I've certainly switched my strategy from day one to what I'm doing now because I've also learned some lessons in terms of investing in this market. And so, you know, for me, the first thing that I'm looking at are essentially series one. Um, and I just think that, you know, s series one, um, I can't, can I not filter this by series one? I don't think I can. So um, let's take a look at um, uh, this guy. So I think we could, yeah. So this one, so this is another, another tool that I use momentranks.com and um, you know, here you can, I can filter my collection by basically the series that I have. So I, I definitely have been very focused on series one. It didn't start that way. When I first got in, I was buying what I thought I could afford and I bought quite a few series two that, you know, will probably go up in value, but I probably wouldn't spend the money on them uh, in hindsight. So my focus, number one focus is series one, because these are, these are going to be extremely rare um, moments to, uh, to come by in, in you got to imagine in five years, uh, two years, one year. And so the release that they just did with the packs actually are now 35,000 uh, 35, uh, commons that are being minted onto the blockchain and maybe potentially even more because they're not limited editions. So they're just the packs that you're getting these last couple of days out of um, common card, uh, common moments that are 35,000. You know, look at series one. I mean, you got 1,500, 1,500, 1,400, 1,000, 3,100, 2,900. I mean, guys, this is just imagine in uh, 300. Imagine, imagine in five years having a moment that only 300 people in the world can get this is th this is a supply and demand game and so what i don't get about this market right now what i honestly don't understand is why people are fomoing into packs and moments that are way less rare than the ones that are already on the market and, and why I say people are doing that is because the, the, Series 1 has dropped just like Series 2 has, which is kind of mind-boggling to me. Uh, but anyway, look, this market isn't very mature. And I, and I don't necessarily think that the majority of the people that are invested in this market right now maybe even understand how this is going to play out in 5 to 10 years. And so I'm going to go based on my experience. And I don't see how Series 1 isn't the hottest thing in the world 5 years from now. So that's my number one focus is acquire and accumulate as much series one as I can. Now, I have definitely purchased some series two, some because I didn't know what I was doing yet and some very intentionally as well because series two moments are also going to be limited, at least the ones that were up until today were limited edition uh, up to 15,000. And given what they, what they did last night when they released the packs and they released 35,000, what does that tell you that in no time, we're gonna see we're gonna see uh, moments that are out of fifty thousand, a hundred thousand, a million, um, uh, indefinite, right? They'll just keep printing them. If they're not limited edition, they can just keep printing moments forever. And so, I don't want to be invested in anything that isn't you know guaranteed to be rare and locked in. So that I'm definitely not buying any common moments and keeping them long term. That that I think um, you know are aren't gonna be rare. Okay, so that's kind of, um, you know, this is kind of my Series 1 collection. Of course, you got to have some Zion in there because, yeah, especially Series 1 Zions. I mean, if, if the guy turns out to be the next LeBron, then, hey, you know, you can't go wrong with that. Jokic is just a beast of a player. I love him. Giannis, Giannis is Giannis. Um, I've been trading this Giannis and actually successfully over the last two days. I've been buying and selling him and uh, making, I think I made 100 bucks on him. 
uh, over the course of two days. Not, not, not a huge amount, but I'm, um, you know, it's showing me that I can definitely trade these players. And one of the ways that I'm trading is, so you see how I have them up. You can't see here, but I have him up for sale right now at 1889. I bought him for 1750, and I've, I've been buying him between 1700, 1750, and then selling him at 1900. So when you see a player that's at say selling for 1900, and then all of a sudden, boom, somebody puts him on the market for 17, 1750, you can buy him right away, put him up, still 150 dollars up at the lowest price, and you'll make money. Um, now I'm including you know the hundred dollars after paying the five percent fees. Uh, which unfortunately you have to pay when you sell a player. So series one, I'm also focusing on on rookies. Of course, um, if you don't know, rookies are going to get uh, special badges, and so uh, I think that's going to drive the value up of the of the moments. As soon as you know they look nice and shiny in the platform, it's going to attract new users to those rookies. And it's not quite obvious what's what's a rookie card right now and what isn't. So when that that's made obvious in the platform, you got to think that the value is going to go up. So I've been buying rookies as well john john morant right obviously beast of a rookie this is not his rookie card his rookie card is like 9k but this is his series one card uh that isn't the rookie card so you know i'm happy with this purchase joel Embiid, by all accounts is possibly this year's mvp so i've been buying some joel Embiid. i mean jamal my canadian boy you gotta love him anyway the list goes on but um you know i'm just focusing on good good value rookies series one players the next series one player that i buy my next purchase i'm going to reveal to you right now and i hope that by the time that we um that i that i film the next video you'll be able to see that i bought him and that is going to be none other than our boy lebron james i have two lebron james right now in series two and this lebron james i've had my eye on since the beginning and man has this lebron james dropped in price and 6100 6, is actually a price that i might be willing to pay for it but the market's down so i'm gonna keep my eye on this um again let me um let me show you how many you know what we got going on with um the listing so we got a we got we got a 61 going for 6100 and the next one for 6399 so when the market opens i might hold up and see what happens but it's getting near the territory where you know i want i want a lebron james series one guys who doesn't want a series one you're talking about a living legend and a in a, in a moment that there's only going to be 3100 printed of in minted in in life and you just gotta imagine guys as soon as you know lebron says i'm retiring i mean this uh, these these moments are just going to explode up in price okay so that's what um that's what we're focused on right now uh series one rookies so i do have quite a few rookies from series two um again because hey they're getting special badges and if i am going to buy a series two now it's probably a rookie or you know uh, steph curry luka Doncic, right uh lebron james of course so there's my two lebron uh series two moments uh rookie anthony edwards lamello ball rookie tyrese halliburton rookie so precious rookie derrick jones so i i'm just that's it man that's what i'm focusing on rookies uh series two high quality players i've got my eye on durant too because um you know he his his um his series two is is dropping like bananas and um you know you gotta have the beast durant um he he gets some hate here and there and um i think i saw this even lower right before the market closed so i've got my eye on this kevin durant as well he doesn't have a whole lot of moments right now obviously everybody knows he was injured uh for last season so uh he's just gonna start building up his moments right now anyway this weekend is all about all-star weekend because it is all-star weekend all-star day tomorrow and so we've um uh dapper nba top shot has released the all-star uh challenges all-star packs I did not get a pack. I tried all three times. Didn't even come close. Uh, unfortunately for me, I did not get a pack. But I did tell my friends. And the one who got an account created before these packs were released um, paid $14 for a pack and pulled the Lillard, which is going for somewhere around 200 bucks right now. And so, guys, if you can create an account, it is guaranteed money right now guaranteed money you tell me where else in life you can put 14 dollars into something and you are guaranteeing net positive results there's no way 
to lose because there isn't a single one of these players that is going for less than $14, and you're guaranteed one of the all-star players in the pack. So it's guaranteed money, guys. And it's more importantly, guys, it's not that I'm saying, why would you not spend an hour trying to turn $14 into $200, uh, you know, um, it's not that. It's I, Yes, that's great gains, but it's only one pack you can buy. So all you're going to do is get that. It's because, guys, I firmly believe that this thing is going to the moon. And so that $200 is actually, if you decide to sell your players, is going to give you equity to go and buy the players that you really do follow and love. Uh, and if you don't know anything about basketball, just keep the players. Don't worry. They're all going up. At some point, they're all going to go up. Okay? Uh, not financial advice. Remember what we do on this channel. You do you. I do me. Okay? All right. So, big weekend. Um, another big pack drop tomorrow, guys. The the pack tomorrow, I, I'm hoping I really get. And we'll see. And so, there's been a big announcement around this pack tomorrow. And that is that you can only qualify to buy this pack if you own a moment in your account. On top of that, they dis they've disabled gifting in the marketplace so that this is all to combat the bots, guy. guys. So obviously, you know, with any market, any market I've ever traded is riddled with bots. And I personally, I think Dapper's actually doing uh, a fine job of trying to do what they can to combat the bots. A bad job would be just let everybody buy packs all the time and not re you know not reduce the amount of packs that are being sold not restrict the amount of people that are buying the packs trust me guys i've been in immature markets where that literally happens uh fifa hello um where there's zero control of bots uh so i you know i i, I give them enough respect for for at least trying what they can and i know some of you are upset but hey um uh, for me that's what shows the sign of how early this is right when the more and more people that are upset the more and more people that sell the more and more people that don't want to come back because the market's immature well the more the more they're gonna miss out when this thing goes to the moon okay all right so um if you don't know by the way uh nba top shots keeps a list of the packs and the players that are going to be releasing this pack and this pack this is a rare pack and man do i want my hands on this pack because this i mean this pack is just riddled with future stars and moments that i think are going to be worth some some good coin when the packs are released, the pack costs one ninety nine on drop, and I think it's guaranteed money. Again, any pack that gets released right now is pretty much guaranteed money. So let's hope I get my hands on this pack tomorrow, March seventh, five p.m. Eastern time. I will definitely do a YouTube video if I get a pack, and if um, and I'm not opening it by myself, we're all gonna open that one together and see who we get. All right, so the challenge is up for Kevin Durant. Uh, who's who's um, you know one of the leaders in in the All Star, uh, one of the team team leaders, and so the challenge is up. So if you wanted to do this challenge, you can start collecting these uh, stars, um, um, scene stars, uh, moments, and what I learned from doing the Cool Cats collection, which as if you've watched my previous uh, channels, you know that I did. And where is my Cool Cats uh, completed challenges? Cool Cats, here's what I learned. I'm not doing another challenge, all right? So I went into this, again, not expecting to make money, but expecting to learn from the market and what would happen. And I went in, I bought the Cool Cats, and clearly I bought the top, uh, not the total top, because I bought after there was a big dip, but I didn't realize that that dip was gonna be even further, and I mean a lot further. So um, I have not sold my Cool Cats, and it's because the Cool Cats challenge is not over yet. So this was two of four challenges, and then there's a master challenge. So this Cool Cats challenge is like a complete marathon that's going to take uh, probably till the end of the season to complete. And so, you know, I could see all, all that we need to do to see these uh, moments start to go up in value again is have NBA Top Shot release Cool Cats 3, and then people realize, oh, I need the Cool Cats to complete the Master Challenge, and they're going to start FOMOing back in and buying these Cool Cats. And at that point, I'll probably get rid of them. If I get, if I if I start to see them go up in value and get close to what I paid, I'll probably get rid of them because, um, you know, now I know, hey, look, you, when you do these challenges, they just don't, they don't play out. That This Anthony Davis... All right, this Anthony Davis that I, I basically did the challenge for, that I was awarded. Where's my Anthony Davis? Um, it, it's going for like 900 now, I think. 
um it's it's now eight hundred dollars so it just yeah no it wasn't worth it okay so i'm gonna stick to not doing challenges from now on but i will trade the challenges market so if you can get in early enough as soon as the cool cats are released and you buy them cheap then history shows us that these are going to moon anything that's involved in the challenge moons up until basically the challenge is over everybody collects their free moment and they sell off and so hey lesson learned we'll sell these whenever it makes sense and we'll probably won't do another challenge all right Unless things change and history changes again, I I I I, do, I think the market's acting very weird and and quite frankly in, in a bit of immature ways because the the panic selling on the cool cats when when the count when the challenge isn't over and you need these for the next challenge doesn't make sense to do that for for a pack that was fourteen dollars that released very very common cards and all star players that. None of them are going for much. Two, three hundred is kind of the average that they're going for. So, you know, this is this is this is pump and dump. What's happening right now? This is foaming in and foaming out. And I and I do think that things might start as as the market gets more mature. People start to understand what is more valuable over the long term. Like for example, a moment that's ten thousand minted limited edition is more valuable than a potential moment that is common and not limited edition i think people will start to realize that and at some point series one is going to be uh for sure skyrocketing it's just the way i see it not financial advice you do you i do me okay guys so that's what's going on right now one other tool that i actually found that i thought is super super useful is rookshot.market and so this is a place that you can go, and this is pretty much dedicated to rookies. So if you're interested in purchasing rookies and, and seeing who the rookies are from Series 1 and from Series 2, you can see them here. You know, I don't know every single one of these rookies. So I went in, I did my research, I looked at what their previous price was, and I started buying some up that, that I thought had good potential value and um, both Series 1 and Series 2. So I probably have, at this point, quite a few of these rookies and some of them i have um multiples of and i'll continue to buy those up if if i do see their price um you know take a downturn you'll see that many of them are down right now and i just i i don't think this is going to last forever i think these prices are going to go up um especially when they get those badges that um nba top shot announced all right guys i hope that helps um, I don't I think that's it. I think that's the update. There's definitely a lot of updates a lot of stuff going on in the market The market is definitely down. It's starting to hurt those that were you know, especially if you got in about two weeks ago You've seen nothing but down and um, you know Everything I've been reading is that that's what happens when packs come out and so these will these will go back up everything will go back up uh, for the most part and um, I'm banking on that anyway guys Thanks for stopping by Guys, listen, I need to say this. We are at 98 subscribers. Come on, guys. Can you get me to 100? Have I not worked enough for you to have 100 subscribers by now? I'm going to keep pumping out this material. I'm dedicated to this. This is fun. I love this. And I hope that you're enjoying the content too. And if, you, if you're not enjoying the content, let me know, guys. What am I saying you don't like? What would you like to hear more of? I'm, I'm happy to adjust and learn uh, through this process. And, um, you know, as much as I can, I'll be trying to make both NBA Top Shot videos as well as crypto videos because all of it is very important in my life. And I hope that it's important in yours too. And I hope that I can help you be a better and more successful investor in the future. All right, guys. I'm out. Checking out. Love you all. Peace.